Coach Dina McDee welcoming you to Chair Tai Chi. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a wild mood today. Thank you for joining me. We're going to have so much fun. So sit tall and strong throughout the class and go through the movements with a peaceful, joyful heart. Let's go. Thank you for being here. Sit tall and strong. Drop one hand down. Sit under. Just come back to your thigh. Got it down and over. In and out. Small range of motion. We're just warming up. Add a little bit of a turn with your head, warming up your neck area. Look to the corner and come back. The hardest part of class is over. You are here, yay us. I understand it takes a lot of effort to make it here. Sometimes our brain, oh, I'll just skip today. And then our body says, uh, no, 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 I want to feel better. And so you're here, thank you. And release. Both elbows rise at the same time and let them fall. Add that head turn as well. Look and center and change again. Other side. Sit on the edge of your chair. Excuse me, and release. Reach up and out. Grab, bring it back. Change, up and grab. Still fairly low, we're opening, expanding those shoulders. You look gorgeous today, thought I'd throw that out. We need to hear that every day, don't we? Yes. Let's continue one more each side. How is your posture? Beautiful. Hands go on your thigh. Small circle. Relax those shoulders. You're not going very big. Just transferring the weight from one side of your body to the other. Here, think tall and strong. I always say, like you're wearing your crown, uh-huh, I might have to wear one tomorrow. I talk about it a lot, but never wear it. Maybe tomorrow is tiara day. And reverse. Big breaths. Although we're moving in a small circle, you can still feel that right through your core. Yes, you are doing great. and release lift up and a small step to the side look as you step and back to center look and step big breaths exhale arm it just hovers over your leg and back down elbow stays close to your ribs I see your smile and I smile back 
that's how that works so when you smile someone watch their joy increase you have that power and release when heel comes forward the same arm reaches forward to your toe palm is up draw it back to your ribs keep that leg out just opening and closing those shoulder blades pull that back rotate forward big breath exhale keep your head up as you lean forward Let's change sides. Other heel goes out, palm is up. Lean forward. Pull it back very close to your ribs. Out and reach. the way in and your hands go on your thighs one arm reaches forward and scoop and round and bring it back let's do that again scoop and round like you're gathering in I don't know what came to mind was chickens but <laughs> I don't think people gather chickens like this my granddaughter who's two she loves her chickens goes out and she'll just pick a big giant chicken up carry it around that's what happens when you're raised on a little farm you're just not afraid and release bring that down let's change sides out and scoop and pull it in your arm is level the whole time so if it was hovering over a table keeping your elbow high well done you look gorgeous yes beautiful beautiful let's do two more and back to center hands come into prayer rotate to one side that's my wonderful trash truck. <laughs> Rotate to the other side. Let's continue. They're usually pretty quick. Now they're gone. Yay, bye. <laughs> Outdoor studio always comes with adventure. Yesterday was a giant thunderstorm. And back to center. Drop those hands forward tap your fingers and bring it right back up to center let's continue reach out and drop down reach out and draw in out excellent let's add a knee lift if you choose up and back to center if the knee lift is too intense just lift your heel but if you're feeling like come on girl what do you got yeah I don't know maybe you don't say that <laughs> I do at least in my mind when I go to other people's classes and I do I take class some classes I think oh I can work harder some I say wow uh, I'll watch the instructor <laughs> There's a lot of levels that you can choose from. Last one here and release. 
rotate to the side and open one up one down look high back to center and change side look out pull in that core as you rotate Let's add a leg extension, the opposite leg that you're reaching. So if I'm reaching to the right, my left leg goes out. If I'm reaching to the left, my right leg goes out. You look good, stay with me. One more each side. And back to center. One hand goes under, one hand comes over. Rise with both arms as you get to the top, rotate. Bring it down. Same thing. Slow and steady. Big breath when you need it. Last one. And bring it down. Hands come on your knees. Slide them forward. Lean all the way front. Now lean back and let your hands slide on your thighs. Tap the back of your chair. Here's the hard part. Sit up. Yes. Forward. Just to slide front and back. The extent of the lean in the back can be narrow. Right here. Just a little or all the way back. It's how you want to do it today. And release. Both palms are up. Open out to the side. You're reaching out at an angle. Come back to center and change. Hands are level. See if you can turn all the way to the side wall without compromising your knees. Your knees are gonna want to follow, but don't let them. And finishing here, hands come down. Let's grab a drink of water. It is a hot, sunny day again in sunny South Florida. Wish you guys were right here next to me. That would be a rockin' time. Hydrate throughout class. If you feel like you need a drink of water, just stop and grab some water and then jump back in. Okay, let's go to the side with a bigger leg extension. Lift that knee and open as wide as you're comfortable. Feel that opening through your hips and bring it right back. It helps to sit on the edge of your chair. 
as you open, pull those shoulder blades back into like little pockets behind your back, if that makes sense. Lift and hold. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's add the arm element. Your palm comes up and reach high. Like you're giving someone really tall a high five, I guess. Up and reach high. Very nice reach. That's gonna open all those muscles. Beautiful, beautiful. Look high, lift that chin. Let's do one more each side. You got this. Try to extend that arm, full range of motion. And forward. Feet are shoulder width apart, hands rise shoulder height. Rotate to the corner, hold it there. Notice your knees are still the same. Go to the other side. Because as we turn, your knees are gonna wanna collapse. Don't let them turn. Big breaths. As you get to the edge, pause just a moment. Cross that arm and open and back to center palms are down rotate back arm comes over <clears throat> open up palms are up scoop up the air and it goes right back to where we started You are amazing, by the way. Let's do one more each side. Palms are down as you go across. Bring it back to center. Release all that tension in your arms. Open and close, just a little wiggly, called flying like a goose. Again with that V, beautiful. And all the way up, if you're able, tap the back of your wrists together and bring it down. Let's do that a few more times. Full range of motion, big breaths. Exhale. Two more, you got this. Bring it down. Rest your hands on your thighs. Extend one leg, point it forward, and bring it back. Place it on the ground. So lift and point that toe. Beautiful. Perhaps that's a little like, mm -mm, not today. You can reach forward and just tap your toe forward and draw it back. Whatever works for you. 
keep that posture gorgeous as you are. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Push with your hand open. Yes, draw it back. Push. Point that toe. I want to flex my foot, but it's a point. As you push, do a small rotation. Whoops, point. So many things to think about. You're getting it. I'm forgetting it. Draw that opposite hand back to your hip. A little further than you did before. Look to the side wall. It's just progression in intensity. So if that is too crazy, just stay with how you had it before. Last one. <clears throat> and release. Stepping wide as you're comfortable, your toes point out. One hand is on your knee, the other hand reaches high. Get tall. Slowly bring that other hand and simply tap and go back. Lift open. In and out. your head look down follow your hand that is a balanced compromise you're challenging yourself a moving object and your legs are wide last one hold it high Simply tip over just a little bit. Try to get that elbow towards your knee and back to where your hand. One more long reach. And back to center. Place both your hands on your thigh. Allow your head to drop to your ear. Big breath, change sides. back to center. Let's try the other side. Your hands on your knee, your other hand is up. Lift that chest, bring it down and tap. Open and reach. Beautiful movements. If you choose, follow your hand with your head. It sounds so simple, but it does make your balance very different. Stabbing means stop. Use your mindful attitude to what your body feels like. Let's do two more. Try to get that elbow towards your knee. Three, three, three. And back. One last time. And back to center. Draw both arms in and draw it up to the prayer. Hold it there. Turn your fingers toward me and reach out. Draw it straight back in. 
that again. Forward and reach. Try to straighten those arms. Let's do two more. All you got, open that strength of your arms. Draw it back. Draw your legs back to center. And one leg draws under. And release. Try the other one. Perfect. And together. We're going to add that arm element. It's the same arm and same leg. Reach and together and reach together. So let's now do without a pause as you're able. It just goes right into the next movement. Adding the next element is just a hand position up and rotate, push and bring it in. Up and rotate and push. Very nicely done. Breathe through each movement. Never hold your breath. Last one. And release. One hand is up and one finger points, ball, all your fingers point to your elbow. So you make kind of the letter L and rotate. Change and point to the other elbow as you rotate. Notice the angular position. Your fingers and your elbow are on the same plane. You're not dropping this down. You're keeping it high. You're good at this. Slowly make it a fluid movement. So you almost touch the palms of your hand as you rotate right there. Beautiful. I think some of you were already doing that. Let's add a lean and a rotation. Keep that chest lifted as you lean. You just lean with your elbow. Still keeping that same high elbow, just dropping the angle. Let's add a knee lift, it's a little harder. Yes, you nailed it, beautiful. Let's do one more each side, you've got this. Bring it back to center. Drop your palms down. One up, rotate and push it high. Bring it right back down. Same thing, up, rotate, lift, look up. Now do them at the same time. One comes up and now the other one comes up. tall. Let your arms fall to the side. Just reach out with your fingertips. A quick upper body stretch to close class. I feel like we worked our arms super hard today. 
This will open and expand your shoulders. Hands come into heart center, sit tall. Your thumbs are right there at your sternum. See if you can just look down to your shoes. What that means is we're not rounding our back. You're opening the back of your neck. And up, look high as you can without compromising your posture. And back to center, big breath up. And exhale down. And we always like applause at the end of class. Thank you for joining me. My name is Coach Dina McDee, and I will see you again very soon, most likely tomorrow. I love you guys. You did a great job. See you soon. Bye.